Welcome everyone to the Tactical Tavern. I'm your host, Tomas Salas, and in this video, I'm excited because we are reviewing the new Nightcore MT2A Pro Flashlight. Spoiler alert, I love it. This thing is amazing and probably one of the best flashlight buys that you could get right now. Normally, we'll save the pricing to the end. Keep in mind, this flashlight's around $44. Mind blowing. Now, even though I am a big fan of this flashlight and I can highly recommend it, there are some cons and some things that I am not a fan of. In this video, we're gonna go over exactly what I love and don't like about this flashlight in order to help you decide if it's right for you. I'll make sure to drop a link down below of where I recommend getting this flashlight, but before we get started, make sure to drop a like and subscribe so you won't miss future videos helping you save money and upgrade your gear. With that said, let's get right into it. This new Nightcore MT2A Pro comes in with an overall length of 5.62 inches. The head diameter is 0.78 inches and the tube diameter is a little bit slimmer coming in at 0.68 inches. It's here where the tail diameter flares out just a smidge kind of matching that of the head, only coming in at 0.77 inches. For roughly the size of an average Sharpie, you have a thousand lumens in your pocket. That is insane because most pen lights can get up to around 200, maybe 500, but it has the new UHI LED that comes in with a thousand lumens. This has a peak beam distance of 279 yards. Even more surprising than that is the Candela rating at 16,500. And if you're just new to flashlights, Candela means the focus and level of intensity of a beam. So instead of being a wide flood beam, this actually focuses a lot of that light while still giving you a ton of usable spill. The body is constructed of aircraft grade aluminum with a type three hard anodized coating. I really love the knurling texture. At first I thought it was a little bit excessive, but as I've come to appreciate it, it really enhances the grip, makes it comfortable to hang on to, really doesn't shred the pockets because of the pocket clip, and it also reduces the weight. This only comes in with a weight of 1.41 ounces without the battery. And this is a first for me. I have not seen a battery like this, and I really like it. The battery is an NL1416R lithium ion rechargeable battery. That is a mouthful, and I already forgot what I just said. But what I do enjoy is that it has a USB Type-C recharging cable, so if you're on the go, you can recharge it. Now, some people would say, oh man, you have to wait for it to recharge. Sure, but you can also drop in some AA batteries and get ready to go which makes this an incredible travel flashlight. Although it bumps down the power, which we'll talk about here in a moment, it still increases the versatility because you can find those batteries anywhere. This also has an IPX68 waterproof rating, so you're gonna get some good waterproof and dustproof capabilities. All right, now let's talk about the runtime. This has three modes, so it's super simple. On high, it comes in at 1,000 lumens, which will run for one hour and 30 minutes. The mid setting is 300 lumens, and that's on two hours and 45 minutes of runtime. The low comes in at 50 lumens and that will go for 20 hours. That is amazing, especially for something with this capability and the way that it throws light. I am very impressed. Activating this flashlight is done via the rubber tail switch on the back. It has a nice solid click to it and it also is encapsulated by two tall crowns that go to the back. You can attach a lanyard on here if you wanted to, but I like it because it gives you the ability to tail stand this flashlight, which can help you illuminate a room, kind of like a candle or a lantern. The other reason why I really like these crowns on here is because it prevents any negligent discharge in your pants. That really doesn't sound right. It prevents the flashlight from turning on when you don't want it to. The last reason why I really like these is because if you're using this as a force multiplier in a self-protection situation, these little grooves here, you can use it as a pain compliance tool, or of course, just strike something and wake them up and let them know to back off. And it's nice to have that option in such an innocent looking tool. So if you aren't using the rechargeable battery and you slapped in some AA batteries, the run times would be a mid of 500 lumens and that'll go for two hours or the low at 60 lumens for 11 hours, which is still a ton of runtime. And again, you can easily swap those in and out. If you're interested in learning some more information about what other batteries and options are applicable, check out Nightcore's website as they go into further detail. We mentioned it in the beginning, but this flashlight is only $44 and I'm sure you can find it cheaper. I'll do my best to link those down below. But for the value, and performance of this flashlight, I'm blown away and everyone that I've shown it to has been extremely impressed as well. If you're new to everyday carry and looking for a flashlight, maybe even for a family member or friend, this is an option that I can't recommend enough. It's perfect for everyday carry. Although I will say that on that low, I wish it had another one at around 10 lumens or a moonlight because it can bounce a lot of light back into the face, but oh well, I'd rather have it be too bright than not bright enough. So for me, that would definitely be a consideration and something I'd love to see updated is to have either another mode or drop that low even lower. The other thing I'd love to see enhanced is the user interface. 
And what I mean by this is that it's cool that when you turn it on, it'll remember the last setting that you were in, either high, medium, and low, and it will go back into that setting. So if you have it on low, it's gonna stay on low. If you leave it on high, it's gonna stay on high which is nice if you want this as a little bit of an emergency preparation tool in order to stun an attacker. And it also does not have momentary, meaning that you can't do a half press in order to get lumens. You have to do a full click and there is an auditory feature. I've not found a way in order to dampen that or make it quiet. I think with the capabilities that this flashlight has, if they had that momentary feature, it would be like one of the most all time perfect everyday carry lights. Although that isn't the case, it still makes an incredible options for EDC, for camping, outdoor adventures, and even a backup flashlight for emergency situations because it has a long runtime and also great for travel because you can just slap in some new batteries and you're on your way. It's durable, affordable, and this flashlight gets an A+. If you've been on the fence about adding a flashlight to your everyday carry, start with this one. It has a ton of options to it, and it's gonna increase your preparedness. Do me a favor and let me know what are your thoughts on this flashlight in the comment section down below, and what other gear should we test out here on the channel? If you did enjoy this review, if you found it fun, helpful, or entertaining and informative, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and share it with a friend who may be interested. While you're there, follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Tactical Tavern to help you upgrade your everyday carry. With that being said, my name is Tomas Alas. Thank you again for watching. I'm excited to see you in the next video. And remember, be prepared, be practical, stay tactical.